Hi everyone, I hope you're really well. Today I thought we would go through the last two boxes that I haven't actually unpacked yet, most of which is beauty related stuff. I'm going to try and find home for everything, stuff that I can't find homes for or stuff that I just don't want to keep, I'm going to get rid of. I'm feeling strong, this needs to happen. I want to streamline, I am very much in the headspace for streamlining, so let's get settled and have a look what it is that apparently I've been able to survive without for the last nine weeks or something. So these are the two boxes in question, although technically that's a box and that's actually a suitcase. So yeah, there's potentially quite a lot here to go through, so I think you're going to have to wish me luck here because this could take a while. And yes, as you can see, it's not full, but there is a lot of random stuff in there. So let's get this box done. Whew, okay, that is done. I have separated out anything that is my husband's and my little boy's because that's probably not very exciting to look at. And I've just kind of scattered everything else around. So we'll have a quick look, see what was in that box. And if there's any hidden gems in here that I've totally forgotten about, because there is something I am actually looking for. Okay, so just made a little bit of space for myself. Um, yeah, there are some random things in here. Um, I've got these monkeys, which, I hadn't forgotten about actually, I think Alex has adopted these. They're the kind that have magnet in the hands and the ears and the mouth and the eyes, I think it is, because they're basically hear no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. <laughs> um, and my husband bought me these. They've even got the little t-shirts to match as well which I don't think that's wanting to focus on, and I can't reach to focus it, but each of the t-shirts say, uh, see no evil, hear no evil, and this should be speak no evil. So they're very cute. I'm gonna put those in Alex's room, I think. Um, I believe this is Alex's donkey, so he can have that one back as well. Random hangers. Um, and the rest of it is kind of my stuff, I think. So, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. My favourite Harry Potter book is probably the one before this, so The Goblet of Fire. I really liked that one. Um, and now that we've got a bookshelf actually upstairs, I can put this on the bookshelf, so that can take pride of place. Also got this as well. This is a happy planner, which I did start. I didn't do too badly with it, but I mean, look, when is this? July 2016. And I wrote quite a lot down in July 2016. What were we doing? It's my birthday. Um, our dog went to the vet and Alex had swimming lessons and yeah it's not actually that much to say really it's a shame because it's a lovely planner and if it was undated it wouldn't be so bad but because it's got the years on it it's made it a bit redundant now so don't really know what I'm gonna do with that it's a bit of a shame what else have we got let's stick to the theme of random bits. I've got some cards here, I think. I don't know about you, but I love to keep special cards and I like to keep them in the same place, but that doesn't often mean that they end up in the same place. So I've got three greetings cards here, one of which is from my little boy. Um, doesn't actually say what it's for, so I don't know whether that was birthday or Mother's Day. I think I bought this one because I just thought the design was just too cute. Um, oh, that's a Valentine's Day card to my husband. Um, and this is a Valentine's Day card to me from my husband. Um, 
I don't know what year that would have been. Might have been last year. I don't think it was this year. I don't think we really did anything for Valentine's this year. Got another diary, 2016-17. Um, oh, this is my YouTube specific one. So this is how I used to organize my life. Just look at this, look. That's just a random page with all of my videos, what the video was about, the date, and then I think the tick was to say that it had been uploaded or something. And then, yeah, it quickly got to the point where I just stopped doing that. And I don't, I don't really organise my life on YouTube like I used to. I used to go about it in a really organised way. And I just fly by the seat of my pants now, basically. This is a very special little book. Not only is it stupidly cute. And yes, I'm aware of how... I don't know, young it looks, but I just love the design. I think this is from Paper Chase a few years ago. And this is all to do with my weight, my weight loss. This goes back right to the beginning um, when I weighed a lot. So this was before we got married, which is about six years ago, I think. And I've even got my measurements and stuff on there. So yeah just to look back on what I've achieved actually is kind of astounding um it really really is and then I've got some kind of motivational words to myself about why I want to do it and then I started the next chapter because I wanted to continue to lose weight and then I don't really know what happened everything just went wrong so yeah that's probably good inspiration right there this is a random find from Amazon from a few years ago. It's one of these journals where it asks you a random question every single day and it lasts for five years. So you're answering questions and you can kind of dip in and out of it. I mean, that's definitely what I've done. I don't keep this by the bed and think, oh, I'll write in it before I go to sleep. Although maybe that would have been the better way to do it. So should we just jump to a random page where I've actually answered some questions. So I've got August the 7th, what was your last great meal? And in 2016, my answer to that was, anything I didn't cook, it's so nice not having to worry, stroke, think about it all the time. Yes, I pretty much still feel the same way about that. So it's easy to get lost when you've got a journal like this because you can take a trip down memory lane, but I've just picked out the 7th of December, where do you see yourself next year? So in 2016, I said, hopefully back in paid work, which by that point I was, a bigger YouTube channel, which it definitely was, and a very happy and content family and maybe a new home. So I was a little bit premature on that wish, but everything else definitely came true and we got there eventually with the home. So really like journals like this. I must write in it more often. Something is leaking all over my beautiful bedding. I should probably figure out what it is. Um, I've got loads and loads of beauty stuff here, which I'm not going to dwell on too much. I am just going to really quickly whip through it because I don't want this video to be too big. I'm not sure if I'm going to get through the suitcase today. We'll see but I have an empty bottle here. This is to decant new wash in. So this is from Hair Story. I've not actually used this yet, but I think that would be very handy for like travel or going to the gym or something. I am gonna make sure I stash this away because this stuff is lovely, particularly for shaving your legs. It's the Dove Nourishing Care shower oil with Moroccan or argan oil and I've mentioned this a few times and my last one went all gloopy and horrible because you don't want to get water mixed in with it because it does nasty things but this one has never been touched by the looks of it so it's still looking exactly how it should be. I've got a lovely thing of conditioner here this is actually a colour mask from Maria Neela and I haven't used this a great deal. It feels like there's tons in here still. 
oh my god it smells so good it smells I don't even know how to describe that it smells the same as the luminous color shampoo and conditioner of which I've got a massive one of the conditioner here and there's actually tons of product in there too I really need to get through this stuff so I'm going to put that somewhere visible in fact I can see it's only down to there so I've still got more than half left thing of co-wash here this is Palmer's olive oil formula cleansing conditioner co-wash this was quite nice um, it's slightly cooling if I remember rightly there's still a fair bit in there I should put you in the shower shouldn't I because I think I've just run out of my other co-wash so yes let's put you in the shower let's do the right thing this massive beast is a thing of conditioner I used to use this conditioner to death it was the only one that I used this is TGS factor smoothing conditioner and this is a salon size two litre bottle which I managed to pick up from Amazon because sometimes you can make amazing finds like this if there's a particular conditioner that you love and I do really like this I've not used it for a while it smells glorious it gives the hair a lot of slip there's not a huge amount left in there so Maybe I should decant it into something smaller and just get it used up. Yeah, it still smells really good. It's kind of like a, a sweet shop smell, actually. Apparently, I've got a lot of conditioners. Speaking of new wash, that is an empty one. That's the first bottle I ever had. And yeah, that just needs to be rinsed out. So that's empty. should put that in my empties, actually, because... I'm well overdue putting a new wash into my empties because I don't think I ever actually have so I'll put that in empties instead so what I've also got is this is the pouch that you get which I was saving to go into empties actually because this is obviously empty um, but that has also pretty much run out I've maybe got one more use of it so I'll put both of those into my empties my empties are absolutely massive I'm kind of dreading filming it. Another product from Maria Neela. This is the Cacao Intense Colour Refresh in 4.10. This stuff's fantastic. I should use it more often in between when my hair is being coloured. The idea is it's um, a colour mask. So it gives you like a semi-permanent, yeah, non-permanent colour. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. I have taken before and after footage of this but I'm not sure if I ever actually did anything with it because I've had this for ages so if this would be of interest to you to see some before and afters let me know what else have we got oh we've got something that's leaking I think I'm going to chuck this this is the Palmer's Shave Formula Curl Repair Moisture Conditioner which there's not much left of but I've got so many other conditioners that I prefer to this I will use those first so that's going to go straight into empties <gasps> this is lovely this is a really nice conditioner so this is dark and lovely's eau naturale range and it smells glorious it's like a milky mangoey kind of scent it's really nice and this is their not out conditioner and the main reason why I haven't used this yet is because I don't have the shampoo to go with it so I want to pick up the shampoo before I use that really so yeah do need to get my hands on the shampoo I've <laughs> got another conditioner here this is slightly random looking this is from Lush oh my god and I love the smell of this this is the what's it called again sugar daddy -o? it's the solid um, conditioner which smells like Parma violets and it's so nice and it just makes your hair really shiny and smell fabulous so I should use this more often speaking of lush got random lush star shaped um soap in oh what's this scent again this is like a candy one don't tend to use solid soaps that much because they just get really messy but should put this in the bathroom really <laughs> just got a load of random crap on the bed as well um what else have we got some of this is just going to be thrown straight out because I don't even know how old it is. 
got another mask here from Dark and Lovely. This is their Ultra Cholesterol mask, which I have mentioned a few times before. Still smells good. Look at the colour of that. Isn't it fabulous? That's probably only one application left in there, so I should get that used up at some point. <laughs> got a random box of some Lush bits, because sometimes it can be quite tricky to store Lush things. Um, I've got a pot of Rose Argan body conditioner, which is the one that smells of roses. Oh, which is just beautiful. What else have we got? More random soap. Oh, that does not smell nice. I think this was the one called Fireside or something, because it smells like a cinnamony burning fire or something. So I think this must have been from Christmas. And I don't think it was last Christmas. I think it was the one before. This is where I cut up pieces of the solid um, shower gel that I got, the Snow Fairy one, from the Blogger event, which, as you can see, haven't really used it. I don't really like it um, on the skin. It's very drying. And then... <laughs> Oh my god, what am I going to do with this exactly? Any guesses what that is? Some of you Lush people might know. This is uh, Fun. The product is called Fun. It's like normally the texture of Play-Doh and you use it to wash yourself with. It can actually be really good for multiple uses, but as you can see it's not the nicest thing to store. Smells really good. I'm sure I'll find something to do with that. I just don't know what. So that's a random little box of stuff. I suspect this box has got Lush stuff in it too. In fact, this is probably a Christmas gift that's never seen the light of day. So we've got Lush Dream Cream in here, which I've never really used. I know it's quite a popular product. Hmm, that smells quite nice actually. So that's a hand and body lotion. And then you can see how old this is. I think it is another Christmas product. So we've got another soap in the shape of a post box, which I'm not really getting much scent from that. This is why you should use your lash stuff up instead of just leaving it in a box. Um, I've got a load of random stuff, which I think is just going to go in the bin, actually. I've got some blister pack concealers, which must be from Amazing Cosmetics. I do remember getting some samples of that, actually. Uh, Benefit Boing, which is fine. Um, L'Oreal True Match in the crayon form. Uh, Nude by Nature concealer, which I remember thinking didn't really cover anything. <laughs> Three pots of Estee Lauder Double Wear. I believe that's what that is. It's been such a long time I can't actually remember and they're very old. And I've got a random BB cream there as well. So yeah, just lots of random bits of junk. Oh. Do you guys remember this? Was this from this Christmas or last Christmas? This was that beauty sponge that I've not tried yet. So I'm gonna put this in the drawer with all my other beauty sponges to remind myself to use it next time I need to change. This was the look good, feel better one, if I remember rightly. So I'll put that in the drawer. What else have we got? Mega disappointment here. This is, again, from a few Christmases ago. This is from the Cult Aromatherapy Associates company and it's their bath jewels. So in here, it was three bath oils. One of them smells like tobacco, which is an instant turn off. And it made the whole place smell like tobacco. They're not so bad. I'm glad I picked it up in the sale because wasn't all that impressed to be honest so I might give those a go at some point just to make sure. I've got um, a face mask here this is from Lila London this was probably from a latest in beauty box 
This is a clay mask with chamomile and lavender and you've got a little spoon, which I'm kind of amazed they're still together. And because it's in powder form, you literally take out what you want and then you mix it up, which I love the idea of. It doesn't really smell it very much, but I do quite like that one actually. So that will go in with all of my other face masks, which I have already put away. Um, the only other thing I've got is this random Lush bag with I don't even know what in. Um, oh, that's one of my favourites. That's from Christmas. It's looking very sorry for itself. Oh my god, the smell of this is absolutely heavenly. This is... God, what do they call this one again? It's the one that turns the bath water green and then it's got a gold luster going through it and it's stunning and it smells amazing and I cannot think what the blooming thing is called and yet it's one of my favourites so if you've not tried it they tend to bring it out each Christmas I highly recommend it <laughs> oh dear <laughs> from Halloween that's looking incredibly sorry for itself Oh, that smells really nice, actually. I can't remember what this one was called. Was it just called Monster or something? Oh, Monster's Ball, I think. And then the rest of it is just empty packaging, I think. So, yeah, there's not actually that much in there. That was actually everything in that box. I'm quite pleased with myself. I am kind of thinking that it's going to take far too long to attempt to go through the suitcase because I'll tell you now it's full of makeup. It's full of makeup and some skincare. So I think what I'll do for today is I'm going to put all of the rest of this away, find homes for it all and maybe we will empty the suitcase another time. That's the right thing to do, isn't it? Let me know if you're intrigued in any more detail about any of this stuff that I've mentioned, whether you want to know any more um, or whether you too are actually having a bit of a clear out too because it's very therapeutic I feel and quite important to do particularly when you want to streamline your life a little bit. So anyway I think I'm going to call it a day for this video. I hope you're all really really well and enjoyed this slightly random mystery discovery tour. I still didn't find the thing that I'm looking for which is a full size bottle of my favourite moisturiser ever and I have no idea where it is. I was kind of hoping it was in this box. Never mind. Anyway, I hope you're all really well and I will see you again soon. Bye!